Of all the gadgets in your house, the TV is one of the biggest and most important. And now there's a brand new technology that promises to revolutionise your TV viewing experience. It's called High Dynamic Range, or HDR for short. Unlike HD and 4K technology, HDR doesn't give you more pixels. It gives you more colours and better contrast. Obviously, I need some proper footage to show it off, so I asked my illustrious colleagues to get filming. Yay! Yay! OK, John has given us a very tight brief mm -hmm. to capture some epic footage, all right, that will really test out these HDR tellies that he's testing. So we took it as an excuse to have some fun in London. We've got a 4K camera. Beautiful. And uh, we're just going to film ourselves enjoying ourselves. Messing about on the water, yeah? Messing about on the water. Good place to start. Yay! <laughs> This is the perfect milieu. All right, those dark buildings contrasting against the bright sky. Yep, strike a pose, my oh, man. Right. I am recording. Um, this is me, like, in London. Jace? Uh, yeah. Once we're through this tunnel. Okay. All that's nice. Yeah. We're not done yet. But to some ping pong. Yes. <laughs> right, it's time to examine what they've shot. I've had the footage edited into three videos. They're identical, apart from the fact one's in HD, one's in 4K, and one's in 4K HDR. Well, here's the HD picture, and it's, uh, it's pretty decent, actually. I think you'd be very happy with it if it was your HD telly at home. Moving on to the 4K, you immediately see more detail in the buildings, on, on the boats. You're less aware of individual pixels, though overall the colour and contrast are very similar. Nevertheless, I think you'd be very pleased with that as a 4K TV at home. And here's the 4K HDR version of the video on this top-of-the-range Samsung TV that's capable of showing HDR footage. And you can immediately tell there's more detail in the highlights and uh, the shadows, although they're darker and deeper, every detail's in those as well. And the colours overall are much richer. That's particularly notable, I think, on the interior scenes here. Just look at the red on that curtain. Far more realistic. There are two main reasons for the improvement, the first of which is brightness. TV brightness is measured in nits. And while normal TVs can produce 100 to 400 nits, HDR TVs can produce up to 1,000. Second, colours. Normal TVs can show 16 million colours, but HDR TVs can show over a billion. I've been genuinely impressed by HDR, and I'm absolutely delighted that the likes of Amazon and Netflix are already producing HDR shows. So, buying a new HDR TV now not only allows you to enjoy those, it's also a great way of future-proofing yourself as even more HDR content becomes available. Smartphones like this are pretty much a staple in everyone's household, and they keep us connected to everything. But there's one functionality that is increasingly popular of late, and that is using one of these to control your living environment. Nice. And OLED keeps on getting better. These latest 55-inch screens now come in flat and curved form. 